I feel like the last time my parents were proud of me was over 10 years ago when I was in the Army. Alex did great when he joined the Army. I went to airborne school. I went to air assault school. I became Soldier of the Year for South Florida. He graduated with honors. I do not know why he was discharged from the Army. I told him that I just didn't want to go overseas. That wasn't the case. I tested positive for marijuana. I was kicked out of the military. Well, I believe that's the first time this family has heard the truth about what happened in the Army, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But first, Alex's brother Rob says that it's really their father who has contributed to his brother's downward spiral, and here's why. One of the reasons my mom enables my brother is out of guilt with the way my dad actually raises. I was mentally abused by my dad. When I was young, my father would call me names, call me a coward. My dad would grab us, butt naked, grab us by the arms, and blast us with a belt. He would spank us naked in front of a mirror while we looked at ourselves crying. And that's something they do to Iraqi war prisoners. Getting spanked naked, like, it's just, it's shameful. One thing is disciplining your kid, but putting them to shame, there's no reason for that. My brother handled taking that abuse horribly, and that definitely did emotionally destroy my brother. My father does make me feel worthless, like I'm a loser. And since they stuck with me, I kind of became somebody like that. What do you say about that, Dad? Well, I am a disciplinarian person, and I did smack him because it, I call it discipline. I grew up uh, getting spanked when I needed it and when I did not need it. I thought that I was applying a correct way of disciplining my sons. We, we, the Q1 people, use some type of body punishment. We always done it, and it is fine. But there's a difference, Dad. You weren't, it, it, you would constantly Where, the where did I do marijuana? When did I went to? But we're talking about two different to drink. things. drink. I never done, done any drugs. We gave him a good example. I realized that that could have hurt him. I would have done it differently. I didn't know, but, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, but uh, hindsight 2020. So if it affected them differently, it did not affect me. Now, you're telling me that this prompted him to be the way he is? To me, I don't understand it. Well, let me clear it up for you. If you want to know how that contributes, whenever a child is, is coming up developmentally through the stages, the most powerful influence in their life is the same-sex parent. That's who they look to as their role model. That's who they look to for validation and acceptance. And if that person degrades them and humiliates them, it can trigger them to have a really negative internal dialogue and have poor self-esteem and poor self-worth and hold themselves to a really low standard because they don't believe they're worth any more than that. And you call it discipline, I call it abuse. Mm -hmm. Beating a child with a belt in front of a mirror so they can see themselves being beaten and humiliated and crying is not very instructive. You can say you were beaten as a child. Well, I'm sorry that happened to you and you're not responsible for that, but you are responsible for the choices you make as an adult. You know now, sitting there in that chair, that was not the thing to do, and don't tell me you don't know that, because you do know that sitting there now. You may not have known that then, but you do know it now. I do agree. Uh, I have uh, matured, I have read, and I have learned. I am sorry about the, um, the abuses, but uh, uh, I, I thought that I was, um, I was a discipline, using discipline, and I was, I was wrong. Now I know it. And I, I forgave you a long time ago. I, I just think Alex hasn't forgiven you. You know, I love you a lot, Dad. You know that. You know, I love you a lot. <laughs>